Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Battle video. So in this video we are going to go through the Super Warriors Downfall Saga uh, or basically the uh, Goten and Trunks EZA alongside the Android 18. Uh, so it's a pretty interesting EZA choice. Uh, they're all pretty much a buff to the Sibling Bonds category. Uh, Goten and Trunks are also big buffs to obviously the uh, youth category or the prodigal warriors uh, or the new generation of warriors or whatever the new category is. So uh, they're pretty big buffs, attack and defense 100% at the start of the turn, plus an additional attack of 100% when performing a super attack, uh, then a whole bunch of additional buffs depending on if they are in rotation with Trunks or Goten or Krillin. Uh, similarly with Trunks, obviously he gains a whole bunch of buffs if in rotation with Goten or Krillin. Uh, fortunately for both of them, they both have a Krillin and a Trunks that they can run with. Obviously they can run with each other and there's quite a few various options there. Uh, and then obviously we have the Android 18. The Android 18 is also becomes basically a incredibly suitable uh, kind of support. Uh, basically just buffing up uh, the rest of the rotation so pretty interesting pretty nice uh, easy A's uh, and three of them in one obviously means more bang for your buck so obviously you'll be if you do have these three units like myself uh, you'll be getting three way more powerful units that you can use uh, which is obviously a lot of fun and uh, really nice to fill out your box uh, big buff for the sibling bonds team in the form of Goten uh, and the Android 18, uh, and then a suitable buff for the Kamehameha team, Super Saiyan team, Youth team, just pretty much anything that these two are on. Uh, very similar to the Tech and Int uh, Trunks and Goten, respectfully. Uh, they are weak to artificial life forms, so we're just going to start off with a Majin Buu team uh, and basically. Uh, push through with that and just make things go a little bit speedier uh, if you want to you can move to the end of the video and you will see me using a somewhat more free to play friendly team to take on the final stage so skip to around about minute 13 uh, and you'll be able to see the free to play friendly team uh, but other than that you are going to just basically see me take on the stage with the Martian Brew team so just to obviously talk about the Goten and Trunks a bit more, they are obviously very similar to the t uh, Tech and Int counterparts. Uh, they are pretty solid, uh, obviously being great in rotation with each other. They don't have as much uh, defense reduction as those two, but obviously they have uh, much higher defenses to make up for it. Uh, they also ta stack attack and defense for six turns as well, uh, which is, you know, pretty good it's obviously uh, gives them an ability to improve their defense over time uh, that coupled with their 18 percent damage reduction should result in them being relatively tanky uh, they also dish out some pretty good damage and once the same name update comes out they're going to be a really good rotation to run alongside the tech trunks and int goten respectfully you could also obviously uh, swap the two around uh, you could technically run the tech trunks with the uh, AGL Goten and vice versa you could run the int Goten with the physical trunks uh, and just mix up your pairings there and obviously give them some support from these two uh, you know you can play around with it as much as you want um, it's a pretty viable option especially once we have the same name update but beyond that, uh, it's pretty straightforward uh, easy A. You have the 30 stones that you get, one for each stage. You will get bronze medals, silver medals, gold medals, rainbow medals, all respectfully for each character. And then there are some missions. Uh, so the missions obviously have flashed up on the screen. But the missions are essentially basically to Dirk and Awaken all of them to the final rank. Uh, Dirk and Awaken them eight times essentially. Uh, that will give you three stones per unit uh, and then beyond that as well you get a elder kai if you manage to get the units to uh, 15 sa 
Now factoring in that the units essentially get 4 cars from this Dokkan event, this Dokkan event will drop 4 physical cars, 4 AGL cars and 4 strength cars. Uh, you basically only need to get them 1 SA to get an SA back. Uh, so if you manage to do that with dozing cars uh, at 30% you're going to end up managing to save yourself uh, a little bit of cash. So that's going to be really good. Now we're just going to jump across to uh, stage 15. So obviously the first couple stages were just Android 18. Now we're going to jump across to stage 15 which is the Goten. Uh, as you can see he is you know, immune to reducing attack and defense, immune to stun so he can still be sealed. Artificial life forms, uh, extreme based artificial life forms are going to be the go to here and most types are still effective. Because uh, Gohan is AGL, I do suggest taking the Tech Boo as your friend. I suggest taking the Tech Boo as your friend straight, just straight up. He's got a higher leader skill than the baby, uh, the AGL baby, and also he's just got a higher level of type effectiveness uh, throughout the fight. So, really solid unit. Uh, I definitely suggest taking him. Uh, I think you won't go wrong with running with that. Um, tech boo that tech skinny boo but as you can see we're pretty much mopping the floor here with this easy a we're not really having too many difficulties um everything is going pretty pretty straightforward pretty according to plan uh, and we're managing to clean our way through quite quickly uh now on to stage 20 this will be against trunks physical trunks so you can see now they're immune to ceiling as well stunning attack and defense reduction uh and also Obviously, extreme AGL, extreme tech, extreme strength, and extreme int are going to be the effective types here. Uh, this eventually will drop down to just being extreme AGL, extreme strength, and extreme tech. Uh, but for now, obviously, we have the full suite there to choose from. So we shouldn't have too many problems with this stage. Uh, I would suggest that if you are building a team for this stage, Try and drop out the physical and int units that you have as soon as possible. Uh, the AGL, the strength, and the tech are going to be the units that do the most damage. So you're definitely going to want to keep those guys around so that you can obviously push through the content as quickly as possible. Um, but yeah, so the boo team is obviously handling things very, very easily. Uh, but that is to be expected. It's a very powerful team. Again, uh, my free-to-play friendly slash more free-to-play friendly team uh, will be shown in the last stage at around about minute 13 of the video. So you can definitely go there if you're looking for a slightly more free-to-play, slightly more possible team that you know most players can do. So stage 25, uh, we are fighting both of them. Uh, so here they're both immune to stunning, ceiling, etc, etc. Uh, and as before, you can see Extreme Strength, Tech, and AGL are going to be the weaknesses here. So that means we definitely want to take the uh, Green Boo, the Tech Boo. Uh, and I've left the Int and the Physical Units in just so you guys can see how much of the damage they do comparatively to how much they used to do before. Uh, and that will give you guys a pretty good idea of the reduction uh, that they face in terms of just damage overall uh, and damage in general. So you'll see here how hard this boo hits uh, with this level of attack stat, uh, still doing pretty decent damage. Uh, obviously type advantage, but you know, that only makes it around about a 2 mil attack stat. Then here, obviously we have some nice big damage from the strength boo, and then here we get to show how little damage in comparison uh, the physical boo does due to the fact that he does not have um, the advantage of typing. So as you can see he did very minimal damage to that Goten. Uh, almost not worth it. Well I mean just not really much. From a defensive aspect they are still relatively good. They have high defense numbers. They stack defense. A lot of them. A lot of these boo units uh, regenerate health. Uh, so if you are short you can obviously pick your best artificial life forms units uh, that are tanky and just kind of filling gaps and wait for the other units to kill them. Uh, they don't appear to hit too hard. Uh, the most I've been hit for in a super attack was around 60k, 70k, and that was with type advantage, uh, with it being a weaker unit, uh, without it supering or anything like that, and 
yeah, I just don't remember their damage ever being awe-inspiringly good, and I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, overall, I don't think this Easy Air was designed to be super tough, like the SS4 Easy Air. I think this is in the right spot of the kind of grace-giving Easy Air. Uh, if you have the characters, you don't have a problem, and I think that's fine for the most part and how it is. Uh, obviously, 120% leader skill Easy A's need to be monitored uh, and done successfully, but yeah, at this point, I'm very happy with uh, how everything is going. So here we are at stage 30. Uh, as you can see, we are fighting all three of them now, and it's definitely AGL, Tech, and Strength that are the strong typings, Extreme Type as well, and Artificial Life Forms. So we are just going to change up the team a little bit here. And we are going to try and slot in a little bit more free-to-play friendly units. And also, obviously, we're just trying to uh, not eliminate, but just get rid of the weaknesses in the team. So we're looking to drop the int units, the physical units, uh, and pick up just either more AGL or more tech uh, or more strength units. But I think we're okay with selecting these two. I think they'll be perfectly fine. Uh, and we should be pretty good to go. So our team is looking a little bit more free to play friendly. Uh, obviously we've got a couple grindy units there like the Prime Battle LR and that. Uh, but the rest of the team should be fine and we've got a tech uh, friend Margin Boo lead uh, chosen as well. Obviously the tech Margin Boo lead is still the best lead to use for this. So you're definitely going to want to use that one. Uh, the highest lead skill plus unlike the baby uh, he has a nice high stat skill, uh, good healing as well, which will help you, especially if you're using the first form cell, uh, you won't have a high stat base, uh, it'll be diminished due to the 100% leader skill, so you definitely want to keep that in mind and bring some units that can give you some heals, that's what makes the booze so impressive. Obviously again, just highlighting that these units you can't seal, can't stun, can't attack lower, can't defense lower, so yeah. It's quite a grind, quite schleppy, uh, but that's okay. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we are doing perfectly fine. Uh, Arm is taking some damage here. Um, you know, but it's not too much damage or anything. It's not anything we won't be able to heal. Uh, it's not anything we won't be able to out damage ourselves. So at this point, uh, we are looking more than fine. Uh, and the easy a final stage is going well uh, as as about according to plan uh, as one can hope for uh, obviously we have some slight key issues under the first form cell uh, and our team rotations just haven't really been able to settle in uh, and get going but we're still managing to dish out some pretty impressive damage overall uh, this strength margin brew this evil skinny margin brew is really impressive for this fight obviously all of them are margin brew saga category characters so it's actually really helpful to have that strength skinny margin brew with all his extra attacks and his gaining of attack and everything he can do quite a large chunk of damage uh, to these units uh, so he's not one to underestimate i would definitely bring him along but yeah you definitely want to just focus down one of them there's not really a preference here just focus down whichever one you can deal the most damage to in that turn. If you can deal more strength damage than anything that turn, focus on the trunks. If it's tech, uh, the Goten and vice versa for the 18. So at this point, uh, everything should be pretty clear on what to do. Uh, there's nothing too wild uh, or too out of the ordinary uh, that I would say you need to factor in or take care of before you sort out this easy air. If you have the physical trunks and you have the AGL go 10, then I definitely recommend that you do this uh, immediately almost. Uh, as it's super important, it's going to expand your box and it's 3D free stone. So it's definitely something uh, that you are going to want to make sure that you finish. But yeah, so we're only left with the Android 18 here, so we shouldn't have too many problems and we should wrap this up shortly. Uh, obviously, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope everything is going quite well, um, and yeah, if you have any queries regarding the event, uh, you can leave them in the comments below, otherwise let me know how you're finding it. Uh, but until the next video guys, I will catch you next time. Cheers, stay safe, and bye!